Capricorn, welcome back. This is going to be a timeless love reading. Whenever you feel drawn to the title, to the picture, you know that it's meant for you and it's resonating for you. Always take what resonates and then at any time you would like me to tune into just your energy to bring you clarity, to bring you guidance. You can tap on the link below. It's in the description box of every reading and it will take you right over to my Etsy shop. There I offer a variety of readings. All right. For those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I am very grateful that you guys are here and I do monthly giveaways. So as a way of giving back, each month is something different. February was three free love readings um, to three random people. This month, for the month of March, it'll be a two 25 to 35 minute readings of your choice. You could do what's coming towards me in the spring months, what's coming towards me from now until the end of the year, you love message it, whatever you would like, but it'll be for two people, 25 to 35 minutes long, which is a lot, um, a lot longer than I normally offer. And I'm going to randomly choose two people. You just need to be a subscriber and leave a green emoji of some sort, like um, a shamrock, a plant, maybe even a green heart if you don't have the other ones. If you're on a computer, just write shamrock, letting me know that you're interested. I'll randomly choose three people, and be, or two people, and be reaching out to those two people initially through YouTube. So make sure your notifications are on. And then I provide you the link to my Etsy shop where it is protected and it is secure. I'll get the information I need from you and then I'll send you your free reading. All right. The person you are thinking about, Capricorn, this could be somebody that you have a crush on, somebody that you may have met in the past. It could be an ex. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. The messages that need to come through from them to you. And what messages need to come out from our spirit guides in the universe. All right. All right. Anything? Okay. Well, the two of you are definitely watching one another, whether it be through social media. Um, maybe you live in the same community and they're inquiring about you, but it's watching from a distance. The two of you are mirroring one another. So this could very well be a twin flame connection. Two people that are definitely similar in similar journeys in this lifetime. Sometimes you connect and trigger one another to work on those things that are like, you know, to become better people, to grow from meeting from what like each other. Sometimes you don't come together. But a twin flame can journey, I know a lot of people want to own it, but it's a lot of up and hill. It's a, like a lot of up and hill energy until you finally get to the top with one another. And sometimes it doesn't happen in this lifetime and sacred journey. Understanding those lessons of why the two of you met, surrendering to what may have not worked, what may be going on, but it's also a time of self-discovery meeting this person. All right, messages from Capricorn's person to Capricorn. I am faced with constant reminders of you. So whether you listen to songs and you said, you know, that really sounds like our relationship or you watched a movie together, Maybe they see your name often. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. And this one wants to pop out. Please don't move on. I wish you were here with me. Is the other one that came out. Alright. Let's see what else. Spirit. What else for my Capricorns? Community. So, like I said, with observing, it, it could be through the community of social media that you're watching them and they're watching you. 
you might follow each other, but they're definitely in their head about you. They're definitely thinking on this situation. Maybe how can they make it better? Maybe how how can they, how the two of you can overcome come like a, an argument or a separation? How they can prove to you that they want to treat you better? But I definitely feel there will be a meeting. They do. They definitely want to connect again. All right. Let's see. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords, the more energy of watching one another. You may have met through a social or a social app, a dating app. You may have received communication from them or you reached out to them um, through social media. Air energy. What is the energy of my Capricorn towards the person that they are thinking about? Ace of Pentacles. So it's like you want to reach out. <clears throat> you want to offer something of long term. Something of abundance. Something of longevity. The energy of... Okay. And I feel like they're stuck with juggling situations. Now, this could be juggling jobs. This could be juggling a couple things that are going on in their life right now. But look how I said, remember mirroring, how I said a twin flame connection is up and down energy. Look at how that water is. I feel like they're dealing with a couple things in their life right now. What is the past energy? Could be a fellow earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I'm also feeling fire energy. I feel like in the past, the two of you might have met and then separated, gone your separate ways. Focused on things that you both wanted to accomplish. They may have their own business. Um, you may have bet two people meeting each other that were very career oriented or work oriented. What is the current situation between Capricorn and their person? The Four of Cups wanting to reach out to each other, but not knowing the, the right words, not knowing what to say. Definitely feeling like a sense of disinterest with Anything else that has come your way since then in terms of a relationship? And what does the future hold, Spirit? For my Capricorns and this person. Well, you're definitely making very slow movement towards each other. Since this ending, there has been a transformation. I feel like your person is finally coming towards more of a solid foundation for themselves. A lot of earth energy here, guys. Earth and fire. Oh, we have some water, four of cups. But they want this brand new breakthrough with you. They want to be able to offer you stability. Where you were at, they want to be able to offer you the things that you truly deserve. All right, please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you have water in your chart. It's like you want to you want to let them know how you feel. I definitely feel there's been a separation. But you both think about each other often and you're manifesting this. Please clarify the two of pentacles as Capricorn's person's energy. 
King of Cups. They definitely have that mutual love for you too. And they're, you both want to take that leap of faith. Please clarify the three of wands, okay? Yeah. Moving on, doing your own thing, trying to find happiness within yourselves, but definitely taking a break from this connection. Why the three of cups? See, it's like you guys have your eye on the prize, which is one another. So anything else that comes towards you, it's like you just don't feel interested in it. But I feel like you both want to make that gesture towards one another. And you're, you're trying to find the right words. And why the death card and the knight of pentacles. Yeah, see, a big transformation has happened. Anything that was negative, anything that they might have been struggling with, and you may have too. You know, you might have had struggling energy. You may have not met this person when you were in your best energy. I feel like you both are overcoming anything negative. And making slow movement towards one another. I feel like a choice had to be made, had to be made, had to be made. A lot of things going on in both your lives. A lot of decisions that needed to be made. But I feel like when it comes down to it, it's like this one decision, this one offer, this one cup is both of you. It's just, it's, it's always highlighted in your thoughts and in your emotions and moving towards one another for peace and harmony. So I've got water here, I have earth, I have air, and I have fire, guys. Take what resonates, take what goes on in your energy. For my Capricorns and another person, messages from them to Capricorn. All right. I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my levels of abundance and openness. See, I did, I, I, that's what I was getting. I was getting that they felt like they couldn't give you exactly what you deserved. They knew you deserved a long-term connection. One that was going to be abundant and feel emotionally content. And they didn't feel like they could offer you that at the time. But like I said... I do feel a transformation has gone on with them. I've never felt love like this before. The depth of it can be inspiring, but overwhelming. There's a rainbow there, guys. So do pay attention to rainbows. And I got to show you something else. For those of you that resonate with the same sex, we have two men here. And then we have two women here. So this definitely could resonate for you guys. I always felt I had a higher calling in life and our connection brings me more clarity on it. This is wanting to become a better person, not just because of you, but just what you saw within them. You knew that you saw a lot more than you saw them better than they saw themselves. That's the way I wanted to say it. You saw them better. It's almost like that saying, I wish you could see yourself through my eyes, then only you would know, then you would know how amazing you are. It's like that kind of connection. But that's why I love these cards. It's like these cards are so modern. They're, they just, it, you know, it's for, it's for everyone. All right. Final messages from my Capricorn. From a Capricorn's person. Okay. All right. I needed this journey to understand my feelings. Things were moving way too fast. I needed to be selfish to, to learn and to love myself. Please do the same and time will tell. 
and I'm I'm not sure if you still love me after all that I have done. See, I truly feel that they were lacking. With the devil card, it's like they lacked confidence. They lacked self-esteem. They could have been in, in a manipulating behavior. They could have been codependent. You may not have been in the best energy, like I said. Very mirroring. But I feel like two people that were very triggered to become competent and very successful individuals on your own. So that coming together, you can go the distance. All right, always let me know how it resonates and who you watching. Let me know. Leave a green emoji of some sort, shamrock, plant, green heart. Let me know you're interested in the free reading and go ahead and subscribe. Love and light and have an amazing week.